Hey guys, um, I'm feeling better. The cold is finally kind of leaving. I still have a little bit of it left, like in my throat. <coughs> so I'm doing better. Um, I had a discussion with my mother, and sometimes you know mothers can be your greatest critics. Um, we had a chat. It was just one of those times where I felt like we needed to sit down and talk about lots of things. It's like a therapeutic kind of a thing to occasionally sit down with my mom or my dad and just talk. Uh, sometimes it's a fun chat and sometimes it's more of an intense chat. Um, but I feel like I live there right now and I need to be honest with them about feelings and, and things like that. And um, Sometimes it's frustrating because talking to my mother is like talking to a brick wall, and she is very much a Debbie Downer when it comes to uh, just being there for me. I think sometimes she doesn't know how to be there for me, and it gets very, very intense sometimes. Last night was definitely one of those intense conversations. And, uh, but, I mean, the truth is that, for me, the truth for me is that the only way to be with my parents is to be real and just be honest about everything. And I don't, you know, they're not the easiest people to talk to sometimes. But, for me, that's what makes me happy is to just be honest with them about everything. And um, sometimes it can be a little emotional talking to them about all kinds of things, but I think it still needs to be done. And I think that goes with everybody in my life. I try to be the most honest I can. There are a few people that I feel like I want to be honest with, but it's just going to make, like, it's just going to hurt their feelings and they just aren't going to understand it the right way. And, um, but for the most part, I am very honest with people. Um, I'm blunt. And I think that's a good way to be, is just to be honest. Because that way people know where they stand with you. Uh, sometimes I go a little crazy. That's true. I, I do sometimes go a little crazy. And let my emotions take a little too, take a little too much control over me. But... For the most part, it's a good thing to just be honest. Um, and sometimes in life, people are going to, you know, tear you down a little bit. Even people you think are supposed to be there to support you. But I'm here to tell you that not everybody that you expect to support, support you is going to. I mean, talking to my mother last night, I didn't feel like I got the most support from her. And... She's worried because I don't really have a job right now. I work for my dad. But she doesn't see the overall picture of that I am only working for my dad right now to save up money so that I can leave in a year. And that's when I plan on making my big drastic changes with my life. And she just doesn't. She doesn't have faith in me. And, you know, that hurts when somebody you love and you hope would have the most faith for you feel like your parents should be one of your biggest supporters, and I see a lot of people who do have parents that are their biggest supporters, and my mother and my father, I think, my father, I don't know, it's confusing with my father, he doesn't have as much problems supporting, but there are some things that I just, I feel like he still doesn't really fully support, which makes me sad, you know, but you just have to go on with your life, and you have to do what's best for you, you have to do what feels right to you. You can't listen to everybody else. You have to listen to how you feel inside. And that's the only way to be. You know, if you listen to everybody else, you're going to drive yourself insane. So, what you believe is key. You know, what you feel is what you need to do with your life. And people may be hard on you, but don't ever lose hope and don't ever lose faith that things are going to work out. 
things are going to be good. And it's something I have to walk myself through quite a few times. But things are going to be great. And you should be there to see it. Don't ever let anybody get you down. And um, keep moving on. I'm going to be one of those people that eventually will be able to say that I had faith in myself and great things happen. And I truly believe that they will. I truly believe that I am here for a bigger purpose than just to be in this small town, you know, defending myself to everybody. I know that things are going to get better. And things will get better for me too.